Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to be walking you through the initial setup of the uh, Cetera uh, Cloud Attached NAS. We have a C400 unit uh, in-house that we're going to be uh, getting set up and running. And so this will be just our initial configuration. As we like to do with most of our tests, this is our first time uh, through with the unit. So you're going to be watching us live and see how well we do at figuring it out. Uh, we haven't read much of the manual, uh, just enough to know uh, how to get into the uh, interface itself. So first thing to do, of course, is to open up a, uh, a new browser window. We'll do that right here. Of course, we log into the unit. And immediately pops up. You can tell that we have uh, two hard drives installed in the unit. Um, and I want to thank Western Digital for supplying us with these uh, new three terabyte drives. So we'll also be testing uh, the Western Digital um, three terabyte drives at the, at the same time. So you can see that um, it's wanting to go ahead and set up storage for us. So we're going to go ahead and say next. And now it's asking me if I want to uh, create a array and add a volume. So uh, that's exactly what I want to do. So now it's going to go ahead and uh, prepare the array for us. Uh, next step is to configure file sharing. So it's going to ask us, uh, should we allow network users to access files on this device? We have to define some shares. Uh, so we're going to create a uh, share called vol1 on volume vol1. Uh, and give it the rewrite. So again, basically doing exactly what it is. And um, then we, uh, from this point, we would set up the Cetera portal. And at this point, we don't have that, uh, uh, that part set up. So we're going to come back and uh, configure that later. So with that complete, uh, we're uh, all set and ready to go and we will click finish and we're ready uh, to start working so that that's as simple as it gets as far as setting up um, uh, the unit take a look here at the storage configuration you can see that it's the volume is currently offline and it's formatting that would make a lot of sense since it's got uh, quite a bit of a, a size volume to uh, work its way through so we'll let that go ahead and go and uh, so for setting up a NAS, this is about as easy as it gets, I think. Uh, we plug the unit into uh, power. We plugged uh, two ports into our LAN, and it walked us right through the initial setup. Uh, so very easy to do. The other thing I like about this unit is it allows you to supply your own uh, hard drives. So uh, we were able to use the Western Digital 3 terabyte drives that I had mentioned earlier. So for now, we're going to let this go ahead and finish formatting. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland, signing off. And we will, uh, as we do with all our test drives, be giving you many, many updates as we go along.